Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw a dining room table. So if you followed my other video to show you how to draw a chair, um, you'll have something like this, re resembling this or close to it. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a dining room table. And all the measurements I'm using, uh, it's not as, well, it's close to scale, but um, you should check the internet for exact measurements. I'm just going to show you the techniques to draw a dining room table. So to start with, we go into the three D uh, to, to into the two D view. Then I'm just going to draw the top of the table, the table top. So I'm going to start with a line, and I'm going to, I'm going to make my table one meter by two meters. Just a very generic size. Is uh, it's not based on anything. It's just uh, my preference. I'm going to draw that, select everything, join it to make it a block. And to support the table, I'm going to have supports underneath the table as well. So I'm going to start by drawing that out. So I'm going to go into Home, select the Offset function, and I'm going to have the supports be, let's say, 100 millimeters from the side of the table. And then I'm going to make the thickness of the support 20 millimeters. That's about the average size of wood. So the next step is to rotate it as flat as possible because I'm going to use the press pull function. That's the one I prefer press pull above extrude. But for the press pull function to work, you have to have the whole thing in one window. So what I mean by that is if you, let's say I move it up like that and you can't see the whole support in one window and I try to use the press pull function now, it's not going to pick up the island as it should. So I make sure everything I want to press pull is in the same window, in the same view. And I'm going to make the support 75 millimeters high. And the next step is I'm going to put in the support in the middle as well. So I'm going to draw a center line. And I'm going to offset it by 10 because I want to make the, uh, the end thickness of the support. I want to make it 20. So I'm going to offset to both sides and delete the middle. Next, I'm going to use the press pull function again. Make it the same height as previous. So you can see the table starting to, to take form. So all that's basically left is the top and the legs. So I'm going to make the legs 80 by 80. So to do that, I'm going to click the rectangle function. Type in D to put in dimensions. Type in 80 enter 80 enter and click the direction that i wanted and i'm going to press pull again now i know the standard size or height of its uh, dining room table is 710 millimeters so that's the height i'm going to choose then i'm going to select that leg i've just drawn i'm going to modify use a mirror function select that center as a base point and I'm going to select both of these legs and use the mirror function again. Go to the center of the table top. Use that as a, a reference point. So there you have four legs. So next step is to move up the supports of the table top. And I'm going to use this as my base point. Move it up to that base point. So all that's left to draw is the tabletop. So to do that, I'm just going to copy this. CO enter, copy it off to the side. Then I'm going to make the thickness with press pull function. I'm going to make it two or 20 millimeters. So the next step is to get it in place on your table on the supports. 
So that's why I leave all these construction lines. You can call them construction lines just to give me a reference of where what should be. And we made the height of the table 710. So I'm going to move it up 710. So that is how you get it in place. So as you can see, everything fits together nicely. So what you can do to make it look better. So we're done with the drawing part. And I'm going to move remove all my construction lines so to make it look a bit better these sharp edges you can always use the solid edit tab and go to fillet i'm going to make the fillet radius 15 millimeters so i know it's a bit smaller than the height of my tabletop and just going to select the sides right click to accept it and right click again to exit the command and you can do this with the legs as well so you can select the legs the side of the legs and also make it a bit round so that's basically it to draw a dining room table and you can color it any color you want you can even add um, textures to it so it looks like a real wooden table or whatever color you want so i hope this helped you and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.